The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission will be demanding the assets declaration forms of all bankers across the country. Addressing State House correspondents in Abuja, the chairman of the anti graft agency, Abdul Rashid Bawa, announced that bankers will be required to present the forms from June 1. He briefed reporters after a meeting with President Mohamed Buhari at the presidential villa in the nation's capital. He explained that the commission took the decision as a result of concerns raised on the roles played by bankers in the fight against corruption. Bawa stated that this was because criminals would always want to have access to the proceeds of their crime. A federal high court in Abuja has ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to appear before it on March 30 over the failure of the commission to register the Africa Youth Democratic Party. Ruling on an ex-party motion brought before the court by members of the party, led by Samuel Olalekon and seven others, the court presided over by Justice Ahmed Mohammed granted leave to the applicant to apply for a judicial review and to seek for an order of mandamus compelling the electoral body to appear before the court. Lawyer to the applicants informed the court that the political association known as Africa Youth Democratic Party lodged a letter with INEC as an intending political party since December 2020, but the commission has failed to register the party. A former governor of Imo State, Ikedi Hakim, has been discharged and acquitted by an Abuja High Court on a three-count criminal charge preferred against him by the Inspector General of Police, Adamu Mohammed. The acquittal followed a notice of discontinuance filed by the police in relation to the matter. Following the development, Ohakim was accordingly discharged and acquitted by the court as a charge was struck out. The police bus had in the said charge accused the ex-governor of giving false information against one Chinyere Amuchenwa. Before the matter was struck out, Ohakim had entered a plea of not guilty. So we felt we had to go to court here yeah, in Oweri uh, to stop these actions. And uh, today, uh, the, federal high, uh, the FCD High Court dismissed one of the actions, and the second action, which is pending before the Federal High Court coming up on Thursday, the Nigerian police has also filed a notice of discontinuance. So what was happening in court today is for informational purposes to this honorable court that there has been a change circumstance that uh, warrants that the matter in over here should sunset, should not go on anymore. Oh. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.